The Republican side, of course, went on Saturday just about for two hours in their opening initial statements. What were your impressions? Oh, I thought they did an excellent job of laying out in a very short time that the House has not proved their case, that the president did nothing wrong and certainly nothing impeachable. They didn't even come close to laying out a good case against impeachment. And they pointed out over and over again the other side of the story, meaning what the Democrats didn't tell the senators. I thought they did an excellent job. All right, I want to ask you this, Congresswoman, uh, let's go. You see the intense pressure from Democrats to call in more witnesses, right? We hear this a lot, mainstream media all over the place. Now we're hearing about John Bolton's new book, that manuscript that people are talking about, potentially new, what they're calling new revelations of the so-called quid pro quo. Uh, do you think this will push senators to allow for witnesses? Well, time will tell, but I certainly would advise these senators not to call more witnesses. And the reason being is that the House, the House had the burden of proof and the opportunity to call these witnesses, subpoena them, and if they were rejected, then go to the court. They chose not to do that. Instead, they chose to rush through the impeachment before Christmas. They repeatedly said they had to do it. They couldn't wait for these witnesses because it was national security risk and then Speaker Pelosi sat on it for over a month so it kind of undercuts their story of how you know it was national security list so now they're crying foul that they don't have the witnesses that they could have called in the House and the Senate it's just this is political game and this whole thing about Bolton we haven't even seen this draft book and so to leak it out at this timing it's all political in fact this whole thing is political. It has nothing to do with the truth. It has nothing to do with the Ukrainian call. If they got their witnesses and all of the witnesses were in favor of Trump, they still would call for impeachment. I'm totally convinced of it. What about the Americans tuning in who, who are watching these opening statements play out and they want to have all of the facts presented? Would you argue that they would be uh, slighted from all of the information without having witnesses? No, because the House should have called the witnesses. So if people are watching, they need to realize that it was the House's job to prove the case. They're the ones that's supposed to call the witnesses. And in fact, they blocked, they blocked Republican witnesses in the House, the Democrats did. We couldn't get any Republican witness that wasn't already on the Democrat witness list. And we asked, they rejected. And in fact, the president had no opportunity in the House until it hit Judiciary Committee in the last seven days out of 78 days to even go to the hearings, to even ask witnesses questions. And by then it was too late because the only witnesses that were called in Judiciary were some lawyers that had opinions about impeachment. Well, what, what's the president going to ask? What's your opinion? I mean, this has been a totally unfair process. And now for the, se the same House members to cry foul in the in the in the Senate for saying you should do what we didn't do is totally hypocritical, laughable. Last question for you, Congresswoman. Uh, when, in your prediction, do you see this trial ending? I sure hope it ends this week because I don't think any further witnesses need to be called. The House didn't even come close to proving their case. And we'll hear again today and tomorrow from the Trump's legal team, and they'll continue to prove that the House has not done its case, not even close. This is a political hit job to influence the 2020 election, and that's all this is. And the reason that I know that is because six out of the seven Democrat impeachment managers already supported impeachment before the Ukrainian call. So th they wanted impeachment no matter what it was, no matter what witnesses they hear from. All right, that's Congresswoman Debbie Lesko of Arizona. As always, thanks for joining us on American Agenda. You just watched Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing news channel, now in 65 million homes. Get Newsmax TV on all the major cable systems or go to NewsmaxTV.com and click on the Find Newsmax tab to locate us. Remember, Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.